Bye guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much. Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be yet another update for my Panda palette. This is the Urban Decay She-Hulk palette that was released two years ago, last year maybe? At the end of last year? At the end of last year, uh, because I bought it shortly after it was released. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, this update for the Panda palette. I feel like this palette is moving at a snail's pace. I These last three to four months have been harder on me than the last, the first six months or three or five months of the year, I can't do math, I, math obviously, but I feel like the last three updates that I've been giving you guys have been so like, not exciting, boring, not motivating, at least that's how I feel because of how much progress or lack thereof I've seen in this palette. I feel like these shades are lasting me forever. The few la shades that I have here have lasted me longer than any of the other shades that I used combined. I understand that the formula is different. Maybe the ones that I used were very loose and had a lot of kick up and I, that's why I was able to get through them really fast. Whereas these are a little bit more firmly pressed. I have franken some of them. Maybe I'm I press them too tightly. I did um, franken them with other shades from other palettes. So the formula is different than the original shades were. And so maybe that, that's why they're packed, they're pressed a little bit more packed. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just like so over it <laughs> with this guy. I feel like based on how fast I was finishing the shades at the beginning of the year, this palette should have been done already by this, this update or next month. And the truth is, it won't even be finished by next month. So anyway, all that rambling out of the way, let me show you guys a picture of where I was the last time, and then we'll get into this guy. So here you have it, you guys. This is the September, which would be the ninth update of this palette. Womp womp. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's like the never ending shadows here so uh from last update i was able to finish i believe just this one shade crushing it i can't i didn't watch my previous video but i think this is the only shade that i had left i was hoping to finish these two but obviously i didn't just one and i was able to hit side pan in this shade in courtroom realness if you guys remember this is a franken shadow with um, a yellow shade, like a pinky shade from another Urban Decay palette, and then some of this Hulk Out green shade. This, obviously, it's an original palette, pen for, for this palette. Um, so I was almost able to clean it out. If I hadn't gone on vacation, or if I had taken this palette with me on vacation, I maybe would have been able to finish this shade, because it's only a little bit here, and this one does have quite a bit of kick up. Uh, I would have finished it but I didn't um, and then I've also had days where I'm just kind of lazy and I'm just doing kind of an, eye an eyeliner look and that's it, like a black eyeliner. And so I, maybe there were some missed opportunities when it came to using up this guy, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. And then this guy, super, super suit up, um, I did use it quite a few times um, I think I did expand the pan. Hopefully the picture will have reflected that. But it's a color that I had told you guys in the beginning. I feel like it doesn't look good on me. I feel like it doesn't suit me well. So I avoid it at all costs. <laughs> Maybe I just need to push through it uh, and get some use out of it. Maybe on, on, on dates where I'm not doing anything. Maybe I should just wear a blue look and get it over with, you know. But yeah, I... This one, I wasn't hoping to finish, but this shade right here, yes. Um, believe it or not, this is a Franken shadow. I Franken some purple shade in here. This was a little bit more of a teal color, but with the purple shade that I incorporated into here, it turned a little bit more blue. So um, either way, I didn't, I'm not a fan of either shade, the original shade and the Franken shade, so uh, it is what it is. Um, I am going to be repressing this more towards the middle um and see if i can easily use it up a little bit more because 
the product is so tightly packed around the edge of the pan that it's hard for the brush to pick it up. So I'm just gonna try to bring it to the center. And this one too, I really like the shade of this guy. Um, and it kind of crumbles because it's, um, I guess the, the quality of the shadows and the position of the, of the product. So I'm just gonna repress them and bring them to the center. The shade here on top, Brazen Brawn, I have been using it as a crease shade, as a one shadow look. And this one is extremely, extremely tightly packed. It doesn't have much kick up when you use it. So it's not like I'm wasting much product, which sometimes that helps when you're trying to pan a palette. If you have a formula that has a lot of kick up, it creates um, like you have some wastage. And this one, unfortunately, in my case this time, <laughs> is uh, very tightly packed. So I don't have a lot of kick up. I hope that I have expanded the pan not significantly, but to a noticeable degree from previous update, but we'll see. And then we have this monster of a shade here, Hulk Out, um, that I haven't used really on its own. It's just, I feel like greens don't look good on me, although you guys really um, complimented me on a time where I wore it on my eyelids. So maybe maybe it's just me and, and, and I need to get over it and just use it um, because I don't know how else I'm going to, I'm going to, Get it over with i have october november december to use it up three months and this one was a big shade to to begin with it was two grams so maybe right now i would estimate i'm at 1.25 grams if if i'm being generous you know kind of guesstimating how much product i have left here and how much i've taken out uh, just a guesstimation i don't think i've used half of the product um, that's why I'm saying it's maybe 1.25. Um, so yeah, this is my September update, guys, for this pen that palette. I am not going to refranken anything. I know usually at the end of these updates, you guys see a sped up uh, frankening uh, situation going on here in which I try to, you know, incorporate different ways so I, it can help me pan the, the look. But for this month, for the rest of, um, for... The rest of this month and by the time next time comes around in, in October um, I hope to have these two finished and I don't know <laughs> hopefully I have a lot more progress on this guy and I start just getting over myself and using this guy sometimes when you guys were telling me in other videos some of you guys were telling me to use this uh, or franken this as a highlighter but I I'm not a fan of frankening highlighters, like to create a highlighter, frankening a highlighter to create a blush or an eyeshadow, that's a different thing, but using an eyeshadow to create a, a highlighter and a green shade to create like a green hue highlighter, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it would look good on me anyway. So I'm not gonna try to do that. If anything, I will continue to refranken it with another Urban Decay eyeshadow to make more of this like goldeny color shade. Can you guys see that? It's a very pretty like golden shade that it creates. And I was, I'm wearing it on my eyes today if you guys paid attention to, to my look <laughs> in, the intro, intro, in the intro portion of the video. So um, that's where I'm at with this guy. We'll see what happens next month. I hope you guys are not bored of like these boring updates because I am. If you are, I am sorry. I am with you guys because I feel it too. <laughs> I promise. I already picked. Oh, I already picked my my Panda palette for next year. So I'm excited to share with you guys uh, when the time comes. I don't think I'll change my mind by the time December comes around. I always introduce it in December um, after the finale for this guy, but. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the next palette that I'm going to use. So that's all I have for now for this guy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.